My name is Carla Hernandez Gallegos, and I am a sophomore at West Seattle High School. I am currently in the Back on Track class, working with Career Connections. My ninth grade year, I fell behind, and I was at a 1.5 GPA. This year, I'm still currently struggling to get at least a passing of a 2.0. I'm making this video to show my story and to tell people why Career Connections is such a good program. What would you say are the biggest barriers in your life right now to getting to your um, career interest? So right now, my grades are not very good. But Career Connections, it's making me realize, oh, I need to get my grades up. And, you know, if I'm going to do Running Start, mm -hmm. obviously I'm going to have to be able to balance both of these grades. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the biggest things. Mm -hmm. So what's the connection between Career Connection Program and school and Running Start? Um, talking about my con career, obviously I have to think about what am I doing now that's going to affect me later. Since I'm really interested in veterinarian science, I wanted to know what you think I could focus on the most to be able to get into that field. Probably your best bet would be doing AP Bio because it is an AP class, it's college readiness, but it's also biology, which is the field you're going to be focused on. Why in the world would you want to be a veterinarian? I just want to be close to the animals. They have the greatest feelings in the mm -hmm. world, I think. So, do you know any veterinarians? I don't. Have you talked to any veterinarians? No. 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 So, what are we waiting for? Hi, um, my name is Carla Hernandez. Um, I go to West Seattle High School, and I'm doing a school project, so I was wondering if I could get, you know, an informational interview with one of your veterinarians. Um, what were some road bumps you went through, and what kept you going? I was first generation college. My parents had no idea I had to essentially figure out everything on my own. And I didn't know that I had resources available to, that I could use. So if I could do it all over again, I would probably ask somebody for more help to say, hey, you've been through this. Tell me what it was like. Basically what you're doing. <laughs> How long did it take for you to get here? And was it worth all of those, you know, studying and... So yes, I think it was worth it. So I started working in veterinary hospitals when I was in seventh grade. I worked during the summer and school breaks all through um, junior high, high school. Vet school in particular was really hard and a lot of work. I mean, it was you know the hardest thing I'd ever done, but it was also really fun um, because you're doing something that you love. All right, Carla, so you just did your informational interview. What happened? How was it? Well, when I talked to the vet, mm -hmm. um, she said that I had to put in a lot of hard work. Okay. And so I think that's one of the main things that I have to change, that I'm going to change, not just school-wise, but, you know, reaching out to do volunteering work and mm -hmm. all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. The thing that is different between the Carla that I first met and the Carla now is that instead of looking at the whole picture and saying, this is too much, I can't handle it, I'm done. She now sees things one step at a time. Singularly, she can overcome each step. And by the time she looks back and looks down, she's going to be on top of the mountain. So I just got my acceptance letter from Pierce College saying that I got accepted into the fall quarter. Let me see that. Woo! So you're a high school, college student. Yeah, so junior in high school and freshman in college. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And so like when people ask me what grade you're in, uh, I'm in college. 